So what is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It's your boy Jin Boy back again with another video guys. So sa mga bago dito sa channel guys, welcome kayo dito guys. Siyempre, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell guys kung nagustuhan nyo ang mga content natin dito sa channel. So for today's video guys, I'm going to give you some tips and recommendations guys on how you should choose your next laptop guys. If you are planning guys to buy your next laptop, then this is the right video for you. And also guys, at the end of this video, I will recommend some stores, no, wherein you can buy a good and budget laptop guys, no. Now we're in it is really have a great price difference between the mall price and also their price guys. The one that I will recommend at the last part of this video. So, hindi na natin patatagalin guys. Roll intro. Let's go. So, ayun na nga guys. Nakaabot na kayo sa part na to. So, meaning guys, you are very interested to learn on what are the things you should consider in buying your future laptop or your next laptop guys. So I will go directly straight to the point na guys. So the first thing that you should consider guys is the processor. So yung processor guys, siya yung utak ng laptop. Siya yung brains, siya yung nagpa-process lahat ng task sa laptop nyo. So this is very important guys. I highly recommend that you start with Core i3, no? Wag na yung mga Intel Pentium, Intel Inside na mga processor. X na yan sila, guys, no? So, start with Core i3 pataas. And also, guys, consider the generation of that processor. So, yung mga processor, guys, may iba't ibang generation yan sila. Uh, from 3rd, I'm, I'm not sure kung 3rd ba yung start, but um, as far as I know, yung generation ng processor ko is from 5th generation so meron ng mga bango ganyan guys merong 6th generation, 7th and I think the latest one is 9th generation so consider that guys no? kasi iba yung speed ng Core i3 na 4th generation kumpara sa Core i3 na 7th generation which is mabilis yung 7th generation obviously no? so aside from that guys also look sa tinatawag natin na JHZ no? or yung tinatawag na gigahertz sa isang processor. So, ang required ko talaga guys or I highly recommend na humanap kayo ng laptop na may GHZ na 2.0 starting from 2.0. Wag na yung mababa. Or if you can find 2.5 and above that is much better guys. 2.0 gigahertz will do already the job. Pero the higher the better guys no kasi yung GHZ guys diyan mo makikita kung gaano kabilis ang laptop no so ang 2.0 mabilis yan pero the higher the better guys meron ding ibang mga laptop na it starts with 2.0 gigahertz and it boosts up to 3.5 that is also highly recommended types of gigahertz guys so if ever guys if maka-encounter kayo ng mga laptop or second half laptops na plano nyong bilhin online tapos merong nagbibenta ng Core i7 guys na from 4th generation tapos meron din kayong nakita na Core i3 pero 7th generation I highly recommend that you go with the Core i3 guys na 7th generation it is because bago yung processor it is also expected guys na bago rin yung mga components sa ilalim ng laptop diba? compared to a 4th generation Core i7 medyo ilang generations na yun backwards diba? so luma na yun siya the second one guys that you should consider is the RAM no? so ang RAM guys it is a storage guys wherein lahat ng mga applications na nirarun mo at the same time no like for example you run uh, Skype, Spotify, Google Chrome, Microsoft Excel lahat niya sila guys may mga memory yan and dyan niya nilalagay sa RAM so if you have a 4GB or 2GB which is I don't recommend guys mababa yan na RAM 
once na yung RAM na yun is mabupuno na, then you will start experiencing ng lags, magahang na yung laptop mo, babagal yung process ng laptop mo. Kasi, madali lang yan mabupuno yung 4GB RAM. So, I highly recommend guys that you start with 8GB RAM or even more. Why not 4GB? Why not 2GB RAM? It is because guys, uh, from the moment that you start your laptop, for example, um, naka-on pa yung lap, uh, naka-off pa yung laptop mo, then it runs with Windows 10. Let's say, and then it runs with Windows 10, guys. So from the moment that you turn on your laptop, guys, ang mangyayari is, meron si Windows mga services, mga processes na, na nagrarad na kaagad from the moment that you turn it on. And that processes or that applications, guys, will be stored doon sa RAM. So, meaning, if you have a 4GB RAM, automatic, mababawasan na yan. May matitira siguro 2GB RAM na lang or siguro ang Windows processes, it, it can consume 1.5GB of RAM. So, meron nang mababawas na memory. So, it's not actually 4GB RAM that you are using sa laptop nyo. May matitirang 2GB or 3GB. Depende, no? Uh, siguro kung lagi kayong nag-update yung Windows, then Windows will add more services, no? Kagaya lang yan sa mga iPhones. If you update your iOS iPhone or your operating system, mas malaking storage siya. Aside from that, guys, if you are buying a laptop, also check the RAM slots. RAM slots are important, guys, because uh, kung nakapili na kayo ng laptop na 8GB RAM, then in the future, you are planning to uh, upgrade your RAM storage then dapat alam nyo na from the very start na meron siyang additional RAM slots wherein you can add another RAM to increase the storage of your laptop guys so yan yan ang mga dapat yung uh, i-consider when it comes to the RAM no? so the third one guys that I highly recommend that you should consider is the storage guys no? so for the storage guys, I highly recommend that you go with 1 terabyte, no? 1 terabyte HHD. Uh, because if you settle with 500 gig guys, uh, make sure na ikaw yung type of tao na hindi nag-hoard ng mga files. Now obviously, I cannot deny lahat tayo nag-hoard tayo ng mga movies, videos, photos from kindergarten. No? So, settle with 101 terabyte as much as possible para may mga storage kayo na malaki for your personal files as well diba? also guys an additional tip if you can afford only guys if you can afford to settle also with a laptop that has a solid state drive which is SSD that is a best deal laptop no mabilis yan ang mga laptop na yan kung merong SSD guys no uh, usually, ang nangyayari is uh, you have a dual storage wherein you have an SSD and you also have a HHD which is 1 terabyte. Then, doon sa SSD guys, doon nilalagay yung operating systems mo kasi uh, mas mabilis yung SSD. Basta guys, SSD mas mabilis kumpara sa HHD. So, if a laptop has an SSD, expected na mas mabilis yun na laptop compared sa laptop na HHD lang ang meron. So, the last thing that I will recommend guys is where you can buy these best deal laptops, no? At a very low price guys, best deal na yung mga specs. Now, disclaimer lang guys ha, or reminder lang guys ha, buyer's risk po to. If may plano kayong bibili sa mga stores na to and you encounter problems with it, uh, wala kong kinalaman dyan. But, uh, in my experience guys, I already bought 5 times already in these stores. Um, Iba-iba kasi yung mga stores na binibilhan ko. And the reason why I buy from these stores is because uh, I have also some friends na binibigyan lang ako ng estimated budget and I look, a, I look for a laptop for them. And until now guys, their laptops are working perfectly fine. The stores that I will recommend guys will be mentioned not in particular order guys ha? I mean uh, hindi sila rank no I mean, so and also guys reminder lang ang mga stores na i-mention ko hindi nila sponsored tong video na to no so 
based on my experience, I highly recommend them because they are professional in their work and yun nga, dumadating talaga yung laptop and working perfectly fine yung mga laptop na nabili ko. So the first store that I will recommend guys is uh, Jan Store guys, no? The second one is RS Gadgets. Third one is Quan Corporation. So you check these FB pages guys, I will link it down below para makita nyo yung mga laptop na available ngayon sa kanila and you can really see guys the price difference I mean if you can find a laptop guys sa mga mall like for example 25,000 yung budget nya and Core i3 lang yun in these stores that I recommend guys yung 23 or yung 25,000 ang budget nyo guys you can already buy a Core i3 in the latest generation or you can already buy a Core i5 pa no? tapos may mga video card na mas malaki yung RAM compared dun sa sa, sa mall price no? um, ang downside lang nito is yung warranty I think they only offer 7 days warranty and replacement sa mga laptops if ever you can prove na merong problem talaga pero based on experience guys kaya nga tinawag ko siyang buyer's risk no? kasi yun nga yung downside meron siyang 7 days replacement lang and I think I'm not sure sa warranty ha. you just verify with them. Pero based on experience guys, wala talagang paligay yung mga laptop until now. So, yun na nga guys, no? Uh, I hope you have learned something today and I look forward na this video helps you guys to buy your next laptop. And please, if you like this video guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe guys dito sa channel. Hit nyo na din yung notification bell guys, no? Shoutout nga pala sa laging nag-share sa video ko and sa mga bagong subscribers din, welcome kayo dito guys sa channel. So, peace! See you in the next one!